Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance. It's Tuesday. Uh, Once again, I wasn't able to do it on the weekend. And so I've just decided to let this uh, weekly oracle card guidance fall on whichever day I'm able to do it. And just so I get it out there to you guys, I decided to work with the Romance Angels um, oracle cards today because we haven't done a love oracle in such a long time. And I thought it might be an interesting time to look at love largely because as far as the energy goes um, it might be that all love comes back at this moment it might be that people find new love it's a very interesting time for people to find new love right now and um, one is interested in in which direction it'll go into and and what one should think of that and so um, these cards are really basically asking us to well we're going to be asking them to give us the guidance that we need as we go along in the next week uh, in terms of love and we have three options here today Uh, some lego pieces a dark green half circle a light blue circle and a green square okay go ahead make your selection i'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards in the meanwhile and let's begin the reading so for those of you who've chosen the first option here we're asking what is it that we need to know in love in the upcoming week what is it what is our love advice at this time what is our love oracle guidance at this time oops so i feel like this card I wants to come out uh, here and there's another card that's flown out um and it's well it's these two cards so let's just go with that so basically these cards are very much um self-explanatory on the face and they have very distinct clear messages and so the first one says pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and the second one is says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and this is you know these cards are so much um what the energy is saying right now i feel like this really encapsulates it so for those of you who've chosen the option one it really is uh on the nose in that you know the love that you're finding right now is something that one needs to be cautioned about it's something that you know you will understand where is it that you're feeling uncomfortable where is it that you're not feeling secure where is it that you could feel more and so don't get caught up in this idea of you know the love and how good it feels to be in love and how good it feels to be loved back and how good it feels to be found attractive and to be enjoyed by another person um, and to enjoy another person because There are a lot of things here that one might gloss over that one is not able to look at honestly. And it could be that you find yourself uh, stumbling in the future. You find yourself hurting yourself in the future. And so it's important to actually um, to to actually just just bide your time, take your time and recognize that quite soon you will have what you want. But the key to having what you want is to knowing what you want. So. Once you have decided what it is that you want, that is when you will draw that to you, to you. Because what you're actually doing when you've decided what it is that you want is that you you have decided what it is that you don't want. So immediately, when somebody comes to you that you know it doesn't, they don't fit the picture, or they you know they it's not what you want. They're not offering you what you want. Then you can easily just say, okay, well, I'm not interested. And so it's actually a you know a, a good elimination uh, exercise to do, and so that you can actually uh, you know come to the person that actually loves you, and that person can actually come to come to you, or the person that you're looking for. That picture has to be right. You know they've got to tick all the boxes in terms of what you value in terms of what is important for you so uh, this is what this card is is basically saying i would say this card is it's telling me hedge your bets you know be cautious uh hedge your bets don't um get sucked into something don't fall head over heels right now be cautious um don't um succumb to the the quick uh fling or the you know the short term um enjoyment because what's coming is something that's going to be long and deep and lasting and actually going to be something that 
is, is what you desire or the right fit for you, what's going to be the right fit for you and what you desire, actually. So I feel like there's another message in here for you. And I just want to take a quite a quick look at the card um, so that I can feel what it is that you need to hear. Yes. OK, so basically there's a lot of um, ideas here about what is and what isn't. There isn't certainty about what it is that you actually want, or what it is that they want. There's a lot of posturing. There's a lot of se a sense of, the, you know, that person really not knowing what they want or seeing you in different in a different light from what you actually are. And and you actually seeing them uh, in, a, in these roles called gases as well. So it feels to me like there's this game that's being played of, you know, I'm going to show myself in this way and I'm going to show myself in that way. And let's just see, you know, what um, what what is what comes up from that. And, you know, whereas this is part of the fun and part of getting to know each other. Um, and it's, you know, it's really a, a kind of a dynamic, um, organic way in which you are uh, unraveling um, yourselves to each other. It's actually saying that um, there's uh, the truth is lost in that. The truth is lost. Who you really are is lost. Uh, what you really are is lost. So there's almost like two trains passing in a night that there's a sense of you really missing who you really are. Like, you know, that person's missing who you really are and you're missing who they really are. So pay uh, closer attention to that. Look between the lines here to see what is really being uh, shown to you. So I'm going to leave it at that for you today. And I hope that uh, those have been helpful messages. I want to say that, you know, love um, becomes more real uh, from an energetic point of view. Love becomes more real at the end of this year and or towards the latter part of this year after September. So when I see this very soon, I feel like that's what they're talking about. I'm thinking, OK, well, end of August, come September, there's going to be something more real, more lasting, more beautiful, deeper, um, heartwarming, you know, not heart wrenching, but heartwarming. And whereas this feels quite exciting, what's going on right now and and what has the potential to go on right now because i'm getting the message that for some of you it's not really happened it's just the thought of it happening there's this idea that it can happen i want to say that for some of you you know you might have met somebody quite recently and you're thinking okay well you know i'm quite attracted to this person and they seem to be attracted to me as well or i'm not sure and you know i wonder if i could have something with this person and I want to say that for a few of you, you can't have something with them right now, but you might be able to actually develop something with them come down the line. So like a year from now or a year and a half from now, um, the, the, you know, you both need to kind of grow a little bit and move in uh, and strengthen yourselves in different ways before you can actually uh, meet with each other and really be right for each other. So, um, you know, some of these red flags are just cautioning you for the moment, but it's not to say that it's saying, you know, take it easy, take it slow, um, enjoy having getting to know each other and 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 also read between the lines because there's a bit more going on here than you're actually aware of okay so i am going to leave you now with that message and i hope that message has been helpful for you and i'm wishing you all a very happy week in love and um yes many many blessings to you all Bye -bye. and so for those of you who've chosen the option number two here we're asking what is it that you need to know right now and um, in love, what is it that you need to know right now in love? And what is your love guidance at this moment? What is your love guidance at this moment? And as you go along, All right? Wow, I've gotten this card and it feels quite strong. OK, so there's a card of chemistry here. I want to just call up another card and see what else uh, is here for you. And we have soulmate. OK, so you lucky people who have chosen the second option. This is real. This is the real stuff. You know, this is not the red flags and the cautioning and all of that. Here is some real chemistry. And the card says, well, it's your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So it can't get any clearer than that. 
uh, there's a strong, a strong uh, magnetic attraction here. So I would say that this is a card where you can actually just go with it and, and you know, just be in that moment and allow yourself to enjoy it and, and feel it and experience it and, and actually just, you know, uh, allow it to happen naturally. Now, if you're in a situation where the other person is not acting in the way that they you'd like them to act or they're not responding in the way that you'd like them to respond just recognize that you know it, this is not about you and what you want or how you want to be loved this is about you and that person kind of getting to know each other and loving each other and knowing each other you know it's not about you and your perfect love and your perfect idea and i'm sorry if that annoys some of you but the way in which i'm saying it is pro um is pro probably not very nice but I'm getting the feeling here that for some of you you're getting you're feeling like the person should have called or they they should have actually um, behaved in a different manner and that you've got this idea in your head of how things should go and what this car these what this message is it's not these cards but one of these messages for some of you is that uh, it's not it's don't be so much in your head and thinking about how you want it to plan out uh, be or how it should pan out etc you should just like let it um you know unravel itself let it slowly weave into each other and you know and and discover who you are together and what it feels like to be with him and and yeah and all those things like just to to uncover each other and um and discover each other so i think that what what you need to do is is just recognize that you're dealing with another person here you know it's not about you know what just your idea of love or what it is that you want it's about understanding what the other person is able to offer and what their needs are and what they're able to give and being um, like finding a way to be OK with that. Not to say that you should settle for something that you're not happy with, but, you know, finding it in yourself. If you love the person to be able to um, meet them halfway here. So I feel that there's another message here that. um um, well, there's this one other message that's kind of similar and it's talking more about, you know, having that person be there for you in a way that you are the one that needs to be taken care of or rescued or not necessarily rescued, but more like, you know, they need to take care of your feelings, of your um of, of you know, what you your expectations are. And this is something that um you need to be aware that they also have expectations, you know, they also have their own idea of how things are, are, are going to unfold or what they'd like from it all. And so that is something to bear in mind here as well. But on the whole, this is uh, these are two very positive cards. And this is something where you can just go along and enjoy the joy, the, the chemistry that you're experiencing right now and and know that you know, this relationship is actually a very meaningful one. And here it says it's a soulmate relationship. So it's really, a, you know, a true love relationship, something that's going to be really beautiful and touch you very deeply. And one, you know, you can just go along and en enjoy th that as well. I feel that, um, that it's, there's nothing more to really say here aside from just go with the flow, just enjoy this and savor the moments that you have at this moment and don't let anything uh, come in the way of that. Um, there's and only if if um, the other message I mentioned was only if you have not heard from this person and you're waiting to hear from them or they've annoyed you in some way by doing something that you didn't want them to do uh, or that upset you or that raise some concerns in you that you need to understand that you know they are their own person as well with their own expectations but otherwise it's a it's a brilliant card it feels very peaceful um and it feels quite joyous and it feels exciting but with a certain degree of groundedness in here as well so go ahead and just enjoy this and don't let anything else come in your way you haven't found love and you're wondering you know what is this chemistry what is the soulmate about then don't worry this is on the horizon and it's not it's in your ambit it's possible for you to have this love in your life and it will come up so just give it a bit of time and it will just be patient and it will come up when the time is right. All right. So wishing you all much love and many blessings and many blessings in your love as well. So for those of you who've chosen the option 
number three, the green uh, square here, we're asking what is it that we need to know in terms of love this week? What is it that we need to know as we go along in terms of love? What is our love guidance as we go along? Uh, what is this? So we have the card getting to know each other. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So that's a really beautiful card. And I actually have been mentioning this in the last couple of options as well. It's about getting to know each other. You know, it's about actually understanding each other, revealing oneself, oneself to one another. And this is actually, you know, the one of the most important part of the the relationship is is actually just to get to know each other and what one doesn't realize is that you're always getting to know each other even when you've been in a relationship with each other for 30 years you are still getting to know each other because this person is always changing and so are you and you know one needs to you always if one the love the love that's there allows you to get to know that person and love them unconditionally and be accepting of who they are and be loving and allowing them that space to, to grow and to be different and to reveal themselves to you over and over again in different ways. So I just want to see if there's another card in here for you. Uh, I just feel like there's something else waiting in here for you. And I've drawn two other car two cards for the other options as well. So I just want to go ahead here. Actually, the first option a card just flew out, which set the tone for the rest of these. So we have codependency. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to actually... Um, um, I could give you a warning about codependency here, but I just want to actually um, pull another card to get a bit more info here. But what they're trying to say? What are they actually warning us? All right, so we have past life relationship. So basically, um, you have getting to know each other, right? And you know, it's about this joyous time in which you kind of reveal yourself to each other, as I've mentioned. Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So it's, I think what, what's being said here is that it's important to note as you go along in this relationship, as you're getting to know each other, that you don't fall into any kind of uh, patterns, pattern that keeps you stuck, either in relation to yourself or in relation to that person. And if you start feeling like things are quite familiar or you've, you've done this before or you've actually you feel like um, you're falling into old patterns again. This past life relationship, it says that you might have known each other before, but I want to say that that isn't always the case. That isn't necessarily the case. It might be that you've known each other in a past life. It might just be that you've dated somebody else who was quite similar to this in this life, or you've been with somebody quite similar to this already, and there were certain patterns that developed along the way, and it's necessary to... Um, to be aware of what these patterns are and how they develop so that you're not making um, those mistakes. Again, I don't feel like there's negative energy here or there's anything bad about this. I feel like this, this card is very strong here for me and it's got a very joyous energy. It's this, these people are laughing in, in, in my, the energy that I pick up is that the, you know, the, the couple are laughing and happy and especially the female, um, the female version of it um, or the one that aligns oneself with more feminine uh, with more feminine values or a f more feminine understanding I should say um, so basically here this card is very strong and it holds the other two cards and it it really stands on its own and I feel like the any any kind of patterns that may develop well one could always be observant of that and and be cautious that uh, you're not hurting yourself in the process. So I think uh, be aware of that and, and just, you know, look out for where it is that there could be a codependency building. And, you know, um, and think about, you know, whether you have done this already, whether you've been in this situation before. And of course, the most obvious and um, uh, yeah, the most obvious message here is that it could have been a past life relationship and it could be that, you know, you've been with each other already and that you, you come together always in this, um, in this, in these lifetimes and you, 
you know, you play out the same roles with each other. So where is it that you can actually play out uh, something different with each other this time? Or where is it that you can you can do something different with each other so that you can actually have a different experience with each other? It doesn't have to always be the same. It doesn't have to always bring out the same things in, in one another. You have the potential to go in a different direction and, and uh, bring out something different in each other. And it doesn't necessarily mean that because there's card codependency and because it says past life relationship, that's something that is going to be doomed or that it's something bad. There's a chance here, an opportunity given to you to be able to grow out of that and to be able to make something more beautiful out of it. And the, I think the key to it, once again, is getting to know each other because it's not taking each other for granted. It's not under thinking that you know that person already. It's actually being really curious about that person, really understanding, well, do I know this person? What do I what do I know about this person? And what do you want to know about this person? Being really excited to get to know this person and to uh, understand them. And uh, yeah, and not expecting anything, you know, because I feel like uh, expectations are, are what really... Uh, you know, helps one to fail in a relationship. So um, not to say that there's anything such as failure or anything written here. It's just to say that, you know, there is um, a chance of falling into patterns and habits that you might have had before, which are not healthy for you. And get to know each other and be observant of what that might be. And recognize where you might have been in this type of relationship before, whether it's in this life or previous life. So I hope that's been a helpful message for you. And I want to wish you all a very lovely time as you get to know each other. And as you uh, enjoy the space that you have with each other. For those of you who are uh, not in relationships right now, and uh, you're actually wondering, well, you know, am I going to be in a relationship? Or what's going to happen? And I would say that, you know, when you next meet somebody, take time to actually get to know them, whether it's just a friend, you know, um, with the potential that it could go somewhere or it's something more. Take a lot of time to get to know this person and also look at where in your past life, um, not in your past life, but in your in your previous years where you might have been in relationships where there has been codependency and if that's been the case and how has it played out and be aware of that so that you know you are not allowing that to happen when it comes through in the in the future all right and uh, wishing you all a very lovely week ahead and many many blessings to you all blessings abound from kismet rising <laughs>